my name is Greg Borde. I'm at Campers NRV here in Jacksonville, Florida. Today we're going to take a look at the 2022 Torino Ion Package. So here with the Gretsch uh, Torino 2022, this is on a Mercedes package, a 3500 series chassis. So this is going to have a, uh, this is going to have actually six wheels on it. Um, it's going to have the uh, VB load adaptive air ride system on it. Um, this is built by Gretsch, outfitted by Gretsch. They've been around for 37 years. Uh, they were the world's largest limousine manufacturer or outfitter. In the, uh, they were doing a hundred million dollars a year in limousines. Uh, they were actually building some of these for celebrities before uh, they went full time into, or 80% into um, the RV. They were 80% limo, 20% RV. Uh, when COVID hit, they flipped the business and now they're 80% RV, 20% uh, people movers for uh, the limousine side. This is uh, a Tenorite gray Mercedes color. They are available in three colors. They're available in gray, white, and iridium silver. This happens to be the Tenorite gray, a really pretty color, an alternative to the uh, everyday silver. All right, here on the uh, passenger side of the unit, um, uh, some features that are very important on this 170, it's 170 inch uh, wheelbase, uh, so that, that's why they call it a 170, uh, because of the, the wheelbase is 170 inches. This actually has uh, cameras in the mirrors, um, unlike the 19 foot or the 2500 chassis, that's something the 3500 chassis has that's different than the, um, the 2500. So working our way around, um, Gretsch puts the, uh, the, the, the ground effects on. Something else they do is they put the stainless steel uh, cover over the, the Mercedes packaging because uh, they, they weren't happy how lumpy it looks uh, in the sunlight. So they added this uh, stainless steel piece on here to uh, actually protect the side and conceal some of the imperfections from Mercedes. Working our way around the unit, um, this is your awning. This is a carefree awning. You have LED lights um, that are actually dimmable on the porch underneath the, the step for illumination at night. And then your LED lights in the awning that are also dimmable. Um, working our way around, we're gonna have a, a compartment here. This is a lithium ion package, so there is no generator. So uh, in this uh, spot here, you are going to have a 110 outlet and a cable TV outlet. If you want to, if you're out tailgating, want to put a TV out here, that's where you plug the TV in uh, and the uh, 110 outlet for your power. Working our way around the back of the chassis, you're going to have your uh, your park assist. This actually has a uh, 5,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, has a 5,000 pound hitch. Has a four pin uh, wiring setup and a seven pin for towing. This also has the uh, camera on the back provided by Mercedes which gives you uh, three different camera angles. Um, this has a 360 fisheye. Um, it's a, your backup camera for uh, the unit. On the driver's side, something that you notice that's a little bit different than other RVs out there is you don't have all the holes in the side of the, of the chassis for your hot water heater, your furnace, your uh, 30 amp plug, your outdoor shower. Everything is concealed in this uh, utility box and hidden very nicely. Uh, so you get a nice clean look on the coach. Um, it actually looks like a van, it doesn't look like an RV. Um, in this utility box, you're gonna have your 30 amp plug. This actually has a macerator system on it. So it's gonna have a, uh, a hose that pulls out when you go to dump your tanks. So when you go to dump your tanks, you turn the uh, you turn the pump on, you hit your black and your gray, it'll pump out here. When you get done, you simply um, hit the button and retract your hose back in. There's also a black tank flush that's under there as well. Um, this exhaust pipe that you see coming out here out of the side, that's for your Timberline hot water heater and furnace. That's a diesel fired, um, furnace and heat exchange for your uh, uh, furnace inside the coach. You're also going to have your fresh water fill, city water, shower, and then there's a black tank flush that's underneath where that hose came out of to, to rinse your tanks out. So on top of the coach we have 300 watts of solar. It has a uh, 
antenna, TV antenna. It has a uh, Wi-Fi satellite antenna already pre-mounted. If you wanted to add a uh, cradle point uh, router into the corner of the unit, everything's pre-wired for that. You just pick up a SIM card from your cell phone provider, put it into that uh, router, and you can run uh, 5G wireless devices in the coach while traveling. Great for people um, that work remotely or need to um, have Wi-Fi access for their computer and or um, FaceTime videos if possible. So here we're in the cab of the 3500 chassis. Um, this is going to be the three liter turbo diesel, a seven speed transmission. This has a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Behind the driver's seat over here is going to be your VB air ride system where you can manipulate the um, the airbags that are in the back. You can manipulate it by a couple of inches. If you had to go through a gully, you would have the car running, put it in park, pull the parking brake up one click. And that would uh, that would manipulate this piece here that you can adjust the um, suspension. It is approved by Mercedes. The VB Air Ride system is the only system that is approved by Mercedes. It actually when these units come into Karech, they pull the suspension off, the spring suspension, put that VB air ride on, and it bolts into ex the existing mounting brackets from the spring suspension. On the dash, this unit actually does not have the uh, M-Buck system, but this has an Alpine headset. Um, this is gonna have your the adaptive cruise control. These seats are not power, or because of the uh, not having the M-Buck system, and that's a thing from Mercedes. Um, Gretsch and every uh, outfitter is trying to get units with the maximum amount of options on it, but due to the microchip shortage, um, all the manufacturers, including the competition, are uh, taking units as they can get. Okay, this is the Firefly system that Gretsch provides in these units. Um, a neat thing that Gretsch does is most Firefly systems have a one-year warranty. Um, Gretsch actually purchases uh, a service contract or an extended warranty for an additional two years to match the warranty on the coach. Gretsch does a three-year warranty. The Mercedes does a three-year 36 on the chassis, a five-year 100,000 on the uh, drivetrain. So Gretsch wanted to match the warranty to Mercedes, so they pick up the additional two years on this Firefly system. The Firefly system is, is very easy to operate. It's very similar to a, a tablet. Um, you basically have about six screens. This is going to be uh, how you would operate the ottoman and, and uh, sofa, your master lights, awning, and then your pump, your tanks. Um, it's going to give you the, how, many, how much uh, fluid you have in each particular tank and your battery power. Here's going to be your light system. All, all of the, uh, the lights here that have little arrows up and down, those lights are dimmable. This next screen is going to be your electrical setting and it's going to tell you if you're running off uh, the batteries, if you're on shore power or um, if, you're at a, if you're at a campground and you have 20 amp service, this will let you know you have 20 amps coming into the coach and you can adjust uh, as needed here. The next screen is going to be your uh, air conditioning and roof vent. The next screen is going to be all your power screens. This actually has an insect screen that's here that comes all the way across. And then there's the screen in the back is actually power, which operates like a garage door. You hit the button here and it rolls down like a garage door and totally seals off the back with your insect screen. The next one is gonna be for your settings. The neat thing that they have with this system is they have a mobile app feature that you take a picture of this QR code with your phone. Um, you download the app. When you come into the coach, it's gonna, it's gonna mirror up to this unit. It's gonna ask you to authenticate. I'm going to put this four digit code in here and everything that you can do on this screen except the couch and ottoman you can operate from your phone so you could lay in the bed and say you know it's a little warm or it's a little cold pick up your phone out of the, out of the compartment in the corner while it's charging on those usb ports and change the temperature without getting out of bed it's a really nice system. you bring your awning in the other neat, neat thing too is with these awnings that they have here it has a seismic wind sensor so if the wind were to pick up while you're out doing something hiking or fishing or whatever um, that that awning would go in by itself. So on the Torino package, it's on the 170 chassis. It's a little bit shorter than the EXT. The EXT is going to be 24 feet 5 inches. This is going to be just over 23 feet long. Um, you do lose a little bit of the store. You lose storage behind the seat here on the Torino. Um, 
but the the bed is actually uh, six feet three inches and it's a covered with an ultra leather over a um, memory foam so it's very very comfortable very plush most people when they look at it think that they may need a uh, egg crate or, or like a bed topper once they lay down on it this is uh, it's pretty plush so here we're in the galley of the uh, Torino lounge um, this lounge configuration has nine seat belts. You've got five in the back and four up front here. Um, actually, these two, which is very important, is one of the few RVs that has the child safety latch or for child seats in these units. Okay, so here in the Torino Lounge, we're going to have a wet bath. This wet bath um, is one of the largest for a B van for, uh, for a leg room. This is going to be a porcelain toilet. That's within the shower. Um, the, you're gonna, your, your hot water is going to be provided by a uh, Timberline hot water, his, hot water system. That's diesel, uh, uses diesel fuel um, to power that. You're going to have a, uh, a fan in here and uh, motion sensor lights uh, when you come in here. So the, it's going to be a one piece bathroom. It's, it's impossible for this to leak because of the way that it is configured in here. It also has a couple of inches as more leg room uh, when you're uh, actually seated on the toilet um, for, for taller people. There's more leg room in this than, than, than any other van. Also has a makeup mirror um, and a window. One of the few bathrooms this size to have a window with a manual, uh, manual shade if you prefer. All right, so back here we're gonna have the uh, couch and ottoman. And there's gonna be five seat belts back here. This is ultra leather that's covered, uh, that is covering a memory foam. So very, very comfortable bed. Um, you're gonna have your Vizio. Uh, it is a, a smart TV, so you can stream or cast to the TV and utilize the sound bar. There is a TV that is up uh, above the uh, cab um, for the, the two forward facing seats there. Um, those. When you're, when you're using that TV in the front there, for in the lounge area, there is a set of wireless headphones that are provided um, for the, uh, the TV up front. Here you'll see the, uh, the spot for the table. The table is nested behind the, uh, the lounge seat there on the driver's side. The table can also be positioned in the, uh, the front or the back. And something that's important on these units with the lounge, uh, both front seats do spin around and you have a four seating uh, uh, area for cards or, or uh, cocktails or dinner here you're going to have your your heater and diesel hot water heater so your hot water heater and furnace are operated off of this uh, this screen here this basically takes um, it's tapped into the hot water heater heat exchange is underneath the bathroom it's got a uh, fuel line that's going to pull off of the diesel hot water tank um, it's going to use about a tenth of a gallon an hour at full capacity when it's running on high um, the, the solar system or the solar uh, charger indicator here is going to tell you um, that your batteries are charging, what, what percentage they are at, and how much are coming from the uh, solar panels, the 300 watt solar panels on the roof of the van. Thank you for watching the video on the 2022 Gretsch Torino Ion here at Campers NRV. My name is Greg Wode in Jacksonville, Florida.